Welcome to our Alliance meeting, you two. I hope everything's faring well. Oh, uh, what did you say? I was too busy dying inside. What should our first order of business be, everyone? How about going to bed? In retrospect, I barely even see the point in an alliance like this anymore. Well, to be honest, our team doesn't have a lot of people on it who aren't complete nutcases. So I found the best, most motivated couple of people on my team, you guys, and formed an alliance. And ever since, I've wanted us to all be able to help each other lead our team to victory in the competition. Making friends because you don't like others. What a great idea. Gee, you two sure are being sarcastic today. Well, maybe it's because... You got us up here at 2.15 in the morning. An alliance always has to be its sharpest. <sighs> Alright everyone, welcome to day four of the competition. Are you all as excited as I am? Absolutely. Uh, could you please just get to the challenge already? Well, I see some of you are rather eager beavers. However, we're gonna have to do something else first. See, I'm introducing something new into the show. It's called Rewards and Retributions. Here's how it works. Every day before the challenge, the contestants from last episode's winning team are going to vote on one member of the losing team to get a prize that will help them out in the challenge. And the person with the least amount of votes gets a penalty that will hinder them in the challenge. Then we'll hold the ceremony, where we present the prize and the penalty, then gradually reveal the results. But wait. Couldn't the other members of the losing contestants team just remove the penalty from that contestant? If the penalty is removed at all by the other members of the losing contestants team, then their team not only automatically loses the challenge, but loses a point in the game overall as well. I wouldn't want to go there if I were you. So since you're all so eager, let's start right now. Team M through Z lost last episode, so Team A through L, get to voting. Yarr, uh, I guess I'd be voting for Candle. He did a bloody great thing last episode, and his little parlay even made us win the challenge. I'll go with Candle. Mousepad is the only one on the team who wasn't out of his frickin' mind. I guess I'll vote him. Mama Quartz is quite an intelligent fellow. She's one of the only few people on the team I don't mind. Let's give her a vote. Soup can. No reason. At all. Whatsoever. We get it! Um, Candle? I mean, why wouldn't I vote for the guy who saved my life? I mean, I don't know why he didn't pass on the dare to begin with, but still, he- NEXT! Hmm... I guess... Soup can? Since something really bad happened to him yesterday? I mean, I can't vote Candle. I got hit in the head with a frying pan just minutes after he did that. There had to be some coincidence. I like Soup can because he's a triangle, and I like triangles because they go dang. Um, actually, he's a cylinder. Oh, hi, Thoopcan! Alright, now that that's over, let's get to the ceremony. First, let's go over who got the penalty. There was actually a four-way tie for the penalty, between magazine, tire, picture, and sandpaper, because they all got zero votes to get the prize. What? Really? Bogus! What did I do? Nothing! You're boring and uninteresting as a character. That's why nobody voted for you. I'll show you a character. So let's spin the wheel to break this tie. And the loser is... Tyre! His penalty will be that he has to do the entire next challenge blindfolded. Tyre? I just woke him up. He said he was up awake until 2.30 last night in an alliance meeting. What? What's going on? <laughs> what? I guess you could say... Oh no, you aren't going there. <laughs> I guess you could say it's pretty... Don't say it, sandpaper. EXHAUSTED! Huh? Get it? It's because he's a tire and he's supposed to be in a car and cars have exhaust pipes. Oh. Also, he's tired and that's funny wordplay because he's a tire. SANDPAPER! Now, the contestants not getting the prize or the penalty are Mousepad and Mana Quartz, since both of them got only one vote from Colored Eye and Dollar respectively. See? I'm a nice guy. That's for yesterday! Color dye. Thank you. Poor guy. He must have really low self-esteem, just passing himself around as if he were nothing but a piece of common currency. We all love you, Dollar. Remember that. 
Okay, so next up, we have the two-way tie for the person who won the prize. It's between Soup Can and Candle. Are we gonna have to spin the wheel again? No, actually. Ew, are we gonna do a little mini challenge? You don't know how much I love doing mini challenges. No, actually. Ooh, is it gonna land on me? No, actually. Wait, I mean, yes, actually. Candle, your prize is a global positioning system. It can only zoom out a little bit, but trust me, it'll be enough to help you in the challenge. What is the challenge anyway? I thought you'd never ask. Well, that's something I never thought I'd hear from him. Yeah, usually he doesn't even give people the chance to ask. Your fourth challenge will be taking place in Werfen, Austria. I'll explain more when we get there. Seriously, why don't you ever explain the challenge while we're still here? Well, the main reason is because some of us, um... Let things drift away from our minds relatively easily, and sometimes we fail to remember things for as long as our plane trip takes. But that's just because we have too much going on in there, oftentimes, to pay attention. Go, Thnick Man! The world is safe again! Lamp, are you even listening? Wait, what? No worries, it was just filler. To the airport, everyone! Reasonable Ice Cave, everyone. So, our challenge? Jeez, you guys won't shut up about that challenge, will you? Well, it's really the only reason why we're here, so... Yeah, it's super cold and I just want to get this over with. Right, right, right. For your fourth challenge, I split you all into the pairs you're standing in right now. Duffel Bag is with Anchor, Color Dye is with Button, Candle is with Mouse Pad, Dollar is with Key, Gummy is with Lamp, Magazine is with Tire, Mana Course is with Soup Can, and Picture is with Sandpaper. My assistants, Topaz and Tanky, have hidden a priceless crystal infused with the powers of teleportation in the cave. The challenge will start off with all of you walking into the ice caves with your partners. You will all be venturing through the obstacles presented by the cave's treacherous terrain and its cold climate until one- <laughs> So much for shutting up about the challenge, huh? <laughs> First pair to find the crystal wins for their team. Just go already. All right. How's everyone doing so far? Yeah, I'm tired already. I may like to sail the ocean blue, but walking this lawn just ain't for me. And it's so c cold. I feel like my insides are gonna freeze at any given second. Do we seriously have to walk in this temperature until we find the crystal? Quit your whining, Duffy. You're a bag. You have insulation. It should be like some sort of tropical Bahamas vacation in there compared to what we solids have to go through. Come on, chip her up, guys. It's not that bad, is it? Whoop, there goes Duffel. Maybe we should split up. That way we'll be out of here faster. You two go this way, and we'll go that way. Come on. Come on. Come on! I'm done with this! That was our only light. Now the screen's gonna be black for the rest of the scene. Maybe with little white circles placed on it to represent our eyes or something. I've had enough of this. Can we please just start a fire here and keep walking in the morning? Maybe if it stops your belly aching. <laughs> 